Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Forium mod. So it's been a couple of weeks since we've been here on Chippy's couch. As you guys know, I had to actually move home and when I moved home, I had no internet. Like our internet got cut and then it got put into the new house early, but that internet at the new house was broken. So then I had to wait for a repairman to come and do some things and it just took... Such a long time, but I am back. It feels really good to be back. It's really hard to start making videos again after you've had a break. It's like one of the worst things you can do. And it really hurt me to know that I couldn't give you guys any content. And knowing that some of you, even today, won't be coming back after that little break. Like, that really hurts. So, for those who clicked on this video, thank you, Chippy Gaming. Well, Chippy's Couch is about to hit four months old in terms of uh, since we revived it. And uh, it feels good. So, I'm sorry about the break. I am back now. We're back into some Foria mod, even though Terraria 1.3.5 is here. We're playing on 1.3.4. I made backups. Don't worry. So this is what I worked on while I was away. I wanted to make a, a 3D looking marble house, as you guys know. I didn't know whether to go for like kind of like a mansion looking thing. And this is kind of what I settled on. This is the, the outline of it, at least. I've completely run out of marble. I have none left. So that's something for another day. But I did make that marble couch that a quid wanted me to make. So thank you, and a quid's artwork from this series of the Aquatic Depths is now uh, sat behind me in the new office, which I want to talk about more soon. Anyway, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. So in terms of Terraria, I want to uh, today I want to do if we look up boss checklist. So we have done the Grand Thunderbird so far. We have not done Slime King. We've done the Eye of Cthulhu, the Eater of Worlds. We've not done Queen Bee. We've done the Queen Jellyfish. I think it's now time for Skeletron. And I mean, Skeletron is, you know, pretty hard in expert mode in general. And I'm hoping that with my, uh, my U Wood Bow, we might actually stand a chance of actually beating him. And now, I will be real with you guys. Once you take a break from Terraria, especially a character, really hard to get that ball rolling again in terms of, like, what your character has and has not. So, I'm probably going to make a few mistakes. But then again, come on. I always make a few mistakes. So, let's grab some potions. I went and made a little arena earlier for Skeletron because I knew that we'd be doing him. So, I've got a regen potion, I've got an iron skin potion, and then I'm going to grab myself a hunter potion. I'm going to grab uh, a swiftness potion. And then I'm also going to grab myself an arch potion. Or an archery potion. And then I'll grab myself a shine because why not? We're going all out today. And then my plan is to literally just... Oh my god. My plan is to literally stomp on this dude. I uh, I want to go for first time wins. But I don't know how likely that'll be. So that is... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, always got to remember. Got to alt favorite these. Right. I'm just going to sort this out. Need some wood. I've got only a few torches. So on the way, I guess we, uh, we grab some wood. But I'll show you what I've made. So yeah, it's been a little while. It's really, really odd to be back. But honestly, I uh, <laughs> I have been so kind of like itching to do Chippy's couch. It's actually unreal because obviously, as you guys know, while I was away, I kept uploading to uh, to our news kind of news kind of slash kind of information channel, Chippy Gaming. And uh, I just wanted to be on Chippy's couch so bad. So, so bad. But I'm back now with the daily stuff. It's going to be good, honestly. We're going to do some. Uh, we're going to do some good stuff here on Chippy's Couch. We're about to hit fifty thousand subscribers, right? Fifty thousand. That's kind of crazy. When we started this back up a few months ago, we were at like eight thousand, and uh, we've just had like the longest break. But uh, to be hitting fifty thousand so soon, my God, I can't wait until that hits a hundred thousand subscribers. You guys know I'll be doing a big, big thing for that. Big, big thing. So this is why I want to use Skeletron. For because I like that little tentacle effect. It's kind of cool. I thought that'd be good. Uh, I can't remember my priorities in the series. I cannot remember. I went back and looked at the last couple of episodes, but I can't kind of figure out mentally what I wanted to do the next steps. So I thought Skeletron's a great starting place, and then we can kind of regroup and we can figure out what I wanted to do and move from there. And move from there. So as you guys know, you may have heard already from me. Um, in the new update, 1.3.5, they actually did that cloth ear thing where the cloth ear can now be called James after me. That was stupidly cool. I'm still kind of getting over that. We made a joke about it in one of these episodes a couple of weeks ago. And it feels... <laughs> it still makes you smile. It still really makes me smile. But yeah, I made backups of all of my mods. 
I actually do not know at this point. I can't tell you because I actually don't know. I haven't looked it up whether T Mod Loader has been updated for 1.3.5 yet or not. So I always recommend this before an update comes out. Make backups, you know, because if not, you know, you could run into a big problem. Here we are. So this is what I set up. I just set up a little stadium. And I was going to make some campfires. Now, I actually don't have 400 health yet, so I couldn't make a, uh, a heart lantern. And because we haven't been to a bee biome, I actually haven't got any honey either. So I'm just going to have to stick with what... Hey, look at that. Nine skin potion. I'm just going to have to stick with what we've got. But what I did was I just made kind of like a long bridge and kept it like this. There is sunflowers down. There's one there. And there's also... Is there one over there? No, okay, there isn't. But when we're up there, we should get the um, the little sunflower buff. So that should increase our speed a little bit. And then after that, we'll have to see. I want to see how these tentacles... Because that tentacle throws the enemy up into the air. I just bashed my microphone as I did that. I want to see how that affects uh, Skeletron. I don't know if it's going to do too much. We'll have to see. Is it technically nighttime yet? I think it is. Let's put up some uh, some lights here. And then we'll go and see. Are you are you ready, old man? Okay, buff up. Okay, like I say, it's been a little while since I've actually done Skeletron. So it may take me some time to uh, to get it done. I'm just going to do damage and see what happens. Right, am I actually doing main damage to his head? Oh, I'm not. Okay. Right, okay, yeah, I remember now. There's, there's certain bosses I always forget the pattern to. But essentially, with this one, you have to destroy the arms first, right? I think that's the rule. Oh my god. I am so out of sync with Terraria in terms of light mobility and stuff. Like, I am uh, I'm not doing this very well. And it, once again, it's because I've had that break. That break can really uh, mess you up. You know, in terms of, like, your movement and such. And what you remember. A break from Terraria is quite fatal. Like, there are a lot of games where you can take a year break and come back and be like, Hey, I'm cool. But Terraria, you need to really kind of keep going and keep practicing funny it's kind of mad right i haven't used my summon have i right i should have probably used my summon i've not seen any of these tentacles pop up yet all right i feel like i've, I've calmed down a little bit all right his arms are going to do that and then we're going to bring in a summon a little hatchling oh okay i want to get out of the way of that head oh my god i can remember in calamity we almost beat it the first time and then we got stuck inside of the head because the head was uh <laughs> the head just trapped us in there because we didn't have an eye of uh, a shield of Cthulhu then. We have a shield of Cthulhu now, I just don't have it equipped. Alright, I wonder if this was a if this was a good enough time to do it. This should be fine. I mean in Oh my god. I mean, if we were in a normal playthrough, I mean what would we be using now? Like meet your armor or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. It's been so long since I've done the vanilla Terraria run. I've been playing modded now for four months. It's kinda crazy, really. Is kind of crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I said in a video, in a chippy gaming video, that Terraria is kind of like done for me. Like, I'm not bothered about getting updates and stuff. Like, updates are fun. I like talking about them, without a doubt. Definitely like talking about them. But um, I don't need new content because I'm kind of cool with how Terraria is right now. But somebody said, well, James, how can you say that when... Uh, you don't <laughs> when you play modded Terraria all day, and I'm like, well, that's kind of true. I'm like, you are you are speaking some truth there. All right, we don't have we have oh okay we have we don't have a, a potion we can take. Well, we do. This is going to be a while. Oh, I hate this attack, this little head attack. That's what always gets me. Okay, uh, come on, hand. All right, let's just get rid of the hand. Once we get rid of that, we should be good. Then we can start doing damage to the actual main head here. Okay, come on. Right, I'm trying my best to dodge these skulls. Okay. Um, uh, this ain't going too well. I've got eight seconds left on a uh, on a potion here. Okay, come on, hands. There we go. Right, so the hands are defeated. We can now heal. Do not have the best health in the world. And we're taking 50 damage per tick. Okay, per time he hits us. Right, not great stuff. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, we got stuck in him. Oh, God. Well, I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. That's that kind of like, I am not ready for this yet. Kind of like, uh, returning to Terraria problem. Look at me. 
Look at me. I knew I would make an embarrassing episode coming back. Like, I knew that I would mess something up because I've had that break. And that's what kept making me not want to make an, an episode and kind of giving me this kind of uh, this like anxiety about it because I kept thinking, I'm going to mess things up. And then look at me. I actually did mess things up. <laughs> right. So next time, I'm going to need to uh, probably, I need to reforge some of these accessories and actually have a look at them. Like, for example, like, let's get rid of that. Let's keep this band of regen. Let's keep this scarf. Let's keep that. Let's move over to this. Let's move over to vanilla, vanilla-ish, you know, kind of accessories. And then let's get some money out because I should have some money in here. Uh, I've got silver coins. I've got more silver coins. Do I have any gold coins? Right, let's sort these out. This should put money at the top. Right. I don't actually have any uh, any main currency. I haven't been saving very well, have I? Well, there you go. I got two gold. Two gold is good enough for uh, for something at least. And then let's see, where's that goblin tinkerer at? Oh, he's up here. He's actually behind this guide. All right, come on, guide, move out the way. I want to see Mobart. Damn it, guide. Damn it, Brian. Get out the way. <laughs> guide, come on, dude. Really? Why are you do? Why are you playing me like this? Move out the way. <laughs> oh man, I should have got my uh, my shoe shine buff. See, that's coming back to me. Guide, move out the way. Here we go. Right. That was that was way too annoying. Right, let's put that back. Right, where are you? Okay, you're at the table. Right, we're going to talk about reforging. So, I should probably reforge. Let's have a little look at this. I should definitely reforge these if I can. How much are they to reforge? 33 silver. Okay, well, let's go for... I'll take armored. Armored's pretty good. And then let's reforge this. Alright, that's one gold. Alright, let's maybe hold off on that. This is just standard. So that gives us one defense. Reforge it again. It gives us plus four movement speed. Not too bad. I should probably reforge these as well. That's three gold. Okay, well I am really running low on money. I do have um, a few little uh, plants that I could kind of trade in for dyes and then sell, I believe. Let's have a little look. Um, have I got any strange plants? I might have already done this. This may have been... It might be something I've already done. I have a bunch of stuff I could probably sell as well. Oh, there we go. So these are my strange plants. So let's see. Do I actually have a die trader? Oh, I actually don't have a die trader. Well, that make a lot of sense because I do need to finish some of these rooms. So what we will do is... Well, there's no way of booting people out, is there? Well, we can boot them out, but then I need to make more rooms. So what I might do... Hmm, I might make a level down below. Like I might make uh, some more houses down here. Because I'm going to need some more rooms. So let's see. How many blocks do I do this? One. So that's that's three. And then four, five, six. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's about there. It's about there. Okay, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll mine all this out. And then we'll build some more rooms. And then tomorrow we'll have a die trader. We're going to get some money. We're going to get some reforges going, and we're going to have a proper attempt at this and see if I can do it a little bit better. But yeah, it's good to be back. I, uh, I apologize for the uh, the long wait, the long delay. I'll uh, I'll be back doing this every day now. I just needed to make one bad episode. That was it. I needed to make one bad episode and kind of get back into the swing of things and be like, hey, I'm back. Because that, that gets rid of it. YouTube is all about like having a flow, and it's all about like... Uh, Kind of doing it every day. Otherwise, it gets really, really hard to do. Like, mentally, it's just so weird how YouTube affects you. But it's good to be back. But I am going to carry on cleaning this out. We're going to use our uh, our little modded hammer to do this. The steel mallet. Going to mine this stuff out. I've already seen some... Uh, I saw the spoiler today for... Um, well, it was yesterday, actually. I saw the spoiler for the next thing they want to add in 1.3.6, the next update. And what they want to add is they want to add this cool little uh, smart cursor feature, like what we just did then, this little smart cursor. And they want to do it so when you're playing in multiplayer with, like, two, or pe like two people or whatever, when you mine a tunnel together, you can click smart cursor and then it will both sync up so that you can mine tunnels really fast together. I think that's really cool. I feel like that's a cool little spoiler. Pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about that. And uh, 1.3 is not far away for consoles. That's really exciting. That's only like 
God knows. That's only like a couple of weeks away, isn't it? Because it's got to be here before the end of June. So that means that we've probably got like between... I don't know. It's probably a wait between... like It's probably going to be like six weeks. Six, seven weeks away. But still though, that's really soon to be honest. Compared to the, the grand scheme of a life. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig all this out. And we're going to use some stone. And we're going to build a room. And it's going to be awesome. I'm going to put this away. There. <laughs> and we'll do this. But yeah, I am working on a bigger house. That's the funny thing. I am working on that marble house. It just needs a few more blocks. Like I need um, like I need a good steady supply of marble. Because if you look here. Where's our marble biome? That we, we mined out a marble biome. Where was it? It was somewhere that we don't usually go. Was it here? Right, it's here. As you can see, I still have a lot to take from it, but I've pretty much ruined that biome now. So I want to be a little more careful in the future not to ruin the biomes, because then they become like really ugly and stuff. Right, okay. Well, that is kind of done. I'm going to put some platforms over here. Like this. And it's going to be like the other ones. I'm not going to have... I don't know if I actually have any glass blocks left. I might actually do have glass. Let's see. Have I got any glass? Yeah, I've got some glass... Uh, I don't have any more smooth stone, but I can make some. So I'll make some smooth stone. Okay, and then turn these into walls. So I don't actually need that many walls, because most of this is glass. Right, that should be enough. Let's have a little look. I do need some more wood, though. Right, so this should go like this. It's just basically, what I do is I do like a layer on the outside and then a bit of glass on the inside. I usually do most of my building off camera, so it's kind of nice to talk about it today. I'll put that there. And then I'll fill this in like this. Okay, then fill the rest of this in. And then replace this little bit. Alright, awesome. Got a pretty nice looking house here. But I do need some wood, so where can I get some wood from? Let's see. I pretty much exhausted all of my trees. I'm going to need to plant some acorns down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start planting acorns. Just because I feel like I've kind of pillaged the world a little too much. Like I've literally just mined everything out of it. It was never a great world to begin with as you guys know. And I feel like I've pretty much used up all the stuff that was good. Oh my god. Thank god we can actually uh, get away through this. If you guys remember the Calamity mod where we got stuck in one of these. And I couldn't go do the boss we were going to do because of this. Oh uh, it was so annoying. <laughs> I'm going to mine this tree. Whoop. Here we go. Here we go. But one of the greatest things about moving house now is that we have a, a much nicer sounding office. My office is like a lot nicer to work in now. I have a, a full space for VR and stuff. I've been playing a lot of Oculus Rift since I've been away. Um, we can now do live streaming because my internet is uh, finally up to standard for live streaming. And that's really fun because we did a little live stream of some Mario Kart the other day. And I said, hey, I'm going to be back real soon. I just want to connect with some people. And um, so, yeah, we did that. And now we can do live streams. So we'll do some, um, we'll do some like, cool, like, forum and calamity themed episodes just for live stream. So, like, maybe we could start up a calamity live streaming series or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. And there's going to be all these fun things in the future. And I know it sucks that I've been away. And I know it sucks that I've come back not that great at Terraria, just a little bit worse. But I'm going to get into my rhythm again. And I'm going to, uh,. I'm going to give you guys stuff that I feel like uh, you guys deserve. Because you guys are awesome. You've made Chippy's Couch something really fun. And I had all this stress worrying about Chippy's Couch. Because I wanted to keep the standards really high for you guys. Because you guys make me want to make good content. There we go. Right, I'm going to smash the hell out of these trees. Then I'm going to finish up my room. Let's see. By the time we come back tomorrow, though, this should be all. Uh, this should be all done. I just need uh, two tables and two chairs. So I'm gonna get two tables. One, two. Get two chairs. I'm gonna bring a door along as well. That should be it. And then if I keep these strange plants in my inventory, we should literally get a die trader next, which will be good because I want him to. Uh, to take our plants away from us. It's honestly like the quickest way of just making like a, a bit of money. These things sell. It's like you sell them for, you trade them for dye. And then that dye can go for like anywhere between like three and five gold. Depending on the type of dye you get. So it's well worth it. But anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be even fresher tomorrow. 
And uh, I just want to thank you guys for uh, sticking with the series so far. Like I say, daily episodes will be back again. And um, it's great to be here. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.